This lesson will show how to solve an application problem involving a system of equations by writing the system as an augmented matrix and then writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form using the Desmos matrix calculator. As a financial advisor, one of your duties is to create a balance of stocks and bonds that are tailored to the risk tolerance of your client. Some people are more risk tolerant with the goal of making more money, while others will take a lower risk to be safer with their investments. Your client has informed you that they have a desired average risk of 6.184 and have $8,210.56 to invest in your suggested stocks and bonds. They also want to triple the number of shares of MAT compared to BUS. You have selected stock MAT, which has a risk of 9 and cost $31.21 per share, stock BUS, which has a risk of 7.6 and cost $54.95 per share, and finally bond safe, which has a risk of 1.8 and a cost of $48 per share. How many shares of each should be purchased? We will let M equal the number of MAT shares, B equal the number of BUS shares, and S equal the number of SAFE shares. We'll have to write three equations, one involving the average risk, another involving the total cost, and a third involving the number of shares of MAT compared to BUS. Because the average risk needs to be 6.184, We'll have to write an equation for the weighted average of the risk of the three investment options. And since MAT has a risk of 9, BUS has a risk of 7.6, and SAFE has a risk of 1.8, the weighted average risk is 9 times M, the number of shares of MAT, plus 7.6 times B, the number of BUS shares, plus 1.8 times S, the number of safe shares, all divided by the total number of shares, which is the sum of M, B, and S. And this must equal the desired risk of 6.184. And now for the cost equation, since each share of MAT costs $31.21, each share of BUS costs $54.95, and each share of SAFE costs $48, the cost equation is 31.21 times M plus 54.95 times B plus 48 times S must equal 8,210.56. And then for the third equation, the client wants triple the number of shares of MAT compared to BUS, and therefore M must equal three times B however many shares of bus there are, the number of mat shares is always triple the amount. And now from here, before we write the augmented matrix, each of these equations must be in standard form, and therefore we'll have to change the form of the first equation and the third equation. Let's number these equations to keep things organized. We have equation one, equation two, and equation three. Notice how equation two is already in standard form, meaning all the variable terms are on the left, and the constant is on the right. So going to the next slide, let's work with writing equation one in standard form. For the first step, we need to clear the fraction, or clear the denominator of m plus b plus s by multiplying both sides of the equation by m plus b plus s. Notice on the left side of the equation, multiplying m plus b plus s simplifies out. On the right side, we have to distribute 6.184. And therefore, on the right side, we have 6.184m plus 6.184b plus 6.184s. And now we need all the variable terms on the left side. So now we subtract 6.184m, 6.184b, and 6.184s on both sides of the equation, which gives us a zero on the right side. On the left, 9m minus 6.184m is equal to 2.816m. 7.6b minus 6.184b is equal to 1.416b, and 1.8s minus 6.184s gives us minus 4.384s. And now equation one is in standard form, which I've wrote up here in blue. Equation two is already in standard form, and then for equation three, we need the b term to be on the left side, so we subtract three b on both sides, giving us m minus 3b equals zero. Now that we have all three equations in standard form, we can write the augmented matrix. 
where each equation will give us one row in the augmented matrix. So for the first row, using equation one, we have 2.816, 1.416, 2.416, 1.416, 1.416, 4.384 and then 0 and then for the second row we have 31.21 54.95 48 and then 8210.56 and then for the third row notice how there is no s term and therefore the coefficient of s is 0 giving us a row of 1 negative 3 0 0 and now we go to the Desmos matrix calculator and enter the augmented matrix. Click new matrix, change the dimensions to a three by four matrix, and now we enter the elements. In the first row we have 2.816, negative 4.384, zero. In the second row we have 31.21, and 8210.56. And then for the last row we have one, negative three, zero, zero. Enter. And now to write matrix A in, in reduced row echelon form, we click RREF, select matrix A, and enter. And on the right, we have the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Let's write this down and interpret the results. Remember, the first column represents the coefficients of M. The second column represents the coefficients of B. The third column represents the coefficients of S. Interpreting the first row, we have 1M equals 96, or M equals 96. In the second row, we have 1B equals 32, or B equals 32. In the third row, we have 1S, or S equals 72. So now we know you should buy 96 shares of mat, since M equals 96, 32 shares of bus, since B equals 32, and 72 shares of safe because S equals 72. I hope you found this helpful.